my name is Zhong Chen. Uh, uh, actually, this is my first time in the international conference, the paper presentation. I used to be a musician composer. Yeah. And uh, currently, we set uh, the, the new program in the Zhao Tong University in Taiwan. We have the mass program in the music technology. So this is our, the first project uh, supported by government to develop the, uh, the so-called uh, wireless integrated wearable intermusic system. I think wearable devices uh, with sensor embed has been uh, widely adopted in human computer interaction and uh, new interfaces for musical expression community. A well known example of a wearable devices for interactive music performance is the ladies' glove. It is shown in the picture. Yes. So the paper presents a prototyping a wireless integrated wearable interactive music system called MuseFit. Feature of MuseFit, MuseFit system include wearable and integrated. The device includes a pair of gloves, a pair of shoes, and a cap. Include a three-part human body, like a head, uh, hands, and the feet for music controlling. Motion to music. The system, motion of the finger, feet, and hand, uh, head, decide the music result of the music performance. It's a wireless transmission. The data from sensor detection transmit to computers through the Bluetooth. The performer interacts with the computer wire wirelessly. The goal of research, constructing an integrated wireless wearable interactive music system prototype. Uh, the following is the picture of the, the system. Uh, that's me. Uh, okay. Weird. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the system basically con 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 uh, contains two parts the device, which is a, a pair of gloves, a pair of shoes, and a cap plus the program of the music system, basically uh, built on the Max MP program. This session, I'm going to talk about the structure of the music system. The structure of the music, uh, music system, the structure of hardware, the structure of the software. The structure of the interact music system as the figures show, the sensor detects the performance of motion and data transmit to computer wireless. Performance voice from microphone was sent to the computer at the same time. The data from sensor was mapped into parameters of the effector via algorithms of MaxMP to modify or transform the performance voice. And then the process, the sound were output from uh, speakers to audience. So this is the structure of the music interview system. Secondary, the structure of the hardware, the hardware of the music system was mainly built on the Arduino Nano. The PCB integrates power supply Arduino and uh, Bluetooth, as shown in the figure. And then was installed in the inside the glove, same as those on the cap and the shoes. The flow of data in music hardware system will look as shown in the figure, from sensor to the Arduino to Bluetooth and to computer. Yeah. The structure of the software, the software of the music was built on the MaxMe program. The structure of program of MuseFit contains three main parts. First, signal input include the audio source, serial port premise input. Signal processing include the FX1 and the FS2 sound effectors. 
signal output that includes the most of either two or four channel sound output. It's shown the figures, yes. the structure of software programming of MuseFit. The sound effector X, FX1 include uh, those effects used in the system, include original, which is no effect, remodulation, harmonization, and the bottom line are the presentation mode of those effector. Effect number uh, FX2 include the granular synthesis reverb feedback. Yes. There's a patches. So that the bottom are the, are the presentation mode of the max program. This session, I'm talking about the design and the implementation of the system. Include wearable device. They are the cap, gloves, and the shoes. And talk about the software programming. Include the user interface, effective modular, and other designs. The cap is shown in the figure. The GY273, uh, the electric compass, was built on the brain of the a cap to detect the motion of a head. Yes. The glove, the band sensor, was built on the index middle ring finger of a glove to detect in the bending degree of the, of the fingers. The shoe or insole, the press sensors, was built in the front and the rear insole of the, of the shoe yes. to detect uh, the weight of the foot stepping. Yes. Software programming. Uh, for this system, um, uh, the software mainly built on the Max MP, yes. Uh, so I talk about the user interface. The user interface of MuseFit system includes the four main interactive information, include data information of two hands, the audio information of two hands, and module select information and the channel select information. Effect module design. Preset of the effect module allow performer to quickly select the presetting effector. Yeah, so that's the, uh, the part of the uh, design of the interface. Other design include the breaking lights and the color fade slider. That the interface might help performer to focus or concentrate on the effect which you are using. Auto calibration. The system also allow user to adjust range of parameters according to user situation of body motion and performance environment. This uh, auto calibration. Um, in this session, the mapping strategy of the system uh, are discussed. The importance of mapping between the gesture, or motion, and the sound is an active field of research. In MuseFit, motion of performance, the head, finger, and feet were mapping into various parameters of sound effector or mode controls. Mapping stretch of MuseFit basically is one-on-one -on -one mapping to increase the intuitive use of the system. We talk about the hand and the finger. The hand, each hand was assigned to control three types of different uh, sound effector. The left hand control the original, which is no effect, remodulation, harmonization. The right hand control the granular synthesis, feedback, and reverb. Fingers, data from different fingers of each hand was used to control different parameters of the sound effector. For example, data from index, middle, and ring finger of left hand was used to control the modular frequency, the carry signal, and the, um, the output amount of the signal of the remodulation, as shown in this table. The mapping of fingers of left hand to premise of the sound effector. This table shows the mapping of fingers of right hand to premise of sound effector. Data mapping of fingers. 
The band sensor on finger detect band degree, banding degree of fingers range from 0 to 120. Then convert to digit range from the 0 to 1023 by Arduino. Scale by scale object of the max program into range from 0 to 127. For use in remodulation, 0 to 127 was rescaled into modular frequency range from the 0 to 30, for example. As a result, an effect close to the tremolo effect will, <laughs> will be created. Uh, the figure on the right, right side is the mapping. Uh, 0 to 127 mapping to 0 to 30s for remodulation to create a certain type of tremolo effect. Uh, Later, I will show you some very uh, brief the video clip. Yeah. Feed. The feed was assigned to control both mode of effector and the mode either two or four channel output. This feed. Here, of the both feet were used to trigger modes of the sound effector. Four foot of left foot and here of right foot would start and stop the four channel sound output mode respectively. Data mapping of feet, the pressure sensor of the insole detects the weights of the foot stepping ranging from 20 g to 2 kg. The number was convert to digit range from 0 to 1023 by Arduino, the same. When the data is over the press preset the threshold, mode of sound effect was triggered. In this case, as shown in the figure, the number is 853. That's, that's over the preset number 800. So that trigger the mode effect, yeah, to change the mode, change a different sound effect, yeah. Just step in the, the, on the feet, yeah. Uh, in this, in this uh, uh, object, the two gauge object was used to, uh, to avoid the repeating trigger. The head was assigned to control the sound specialization. Horizontal moving of head was used to control the sound moving amongst four speakers. Here the figure shows this. Vertical mo moving of head was used to design the fading time of sound in a speaker. An effect of the closing fading may be resolved from, yeah. Mapping of the head. Compass of cap detects the horizontal angle and the vertical angle of the head movement. Oh, that's me again. And when the data detected from the compass fits the preset range of the specific speaker, the sound was sent to that speaker. For example, when data is 150, which is between the 50 and 200, the sound will be sent to the speaker number two. It's shown this, uh, the object, the patch. Data of vertical angle was mapped into the fading time. For example, when the data is 2058, the sound in the speaker will be down to the minimum volume within the 2.058 seconds. Um, the next, I'm, do, I'm going to play uh, several uh, very short video clips, yeah, uh, to be kind of the demonstration. Thank you. Yeah. The demo one is, oh, sorry, <laughs> is the uh, feed control the mode switch of effector. That will be 10 seconds. Okay. The demo two will be finger control remodulation on singing. The singer is my student. Uh... Okay. 
demo three with the finger control remodulation number two again on singing uh, is on my voice. Hey, 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 hey. Beautiful. Oh, okay. oh no, thank you. Uh, demo number four will be the finger control, the harmonization, and reverb on falsetto singing. Of my student, Zhonghua. So the number is, this will be minor and this will be major chord, yeah, major, major triad, very simple. The demo number five will be finger control, the harmonization on Chinese folk song, sung by me, very short. Demo six will be a finger control the granular synthesis and the head control the specialization on singing that yeah, on my voice. First of all, I will, I will sing and make recording into the, the software and the play granularly. Yeah. I'm singing. Ba, 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 Conclusion. Um, so the result of research come out of the MuseFit. The, the MuseFit had reached the goal of research, which is a prototyping or constructing a wireless, wearable, integrated motion to music, interactive music system. Future work probably will be include other sound effector, such as a filter, flanger. We will keep in optimizing the user interface Further study are needed to assess and improve the player, playability and the stability of the system. Ultimately, the music could be effectively employed by several musicians in different concerts. 